Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Watercolor Instructions with Sunil Kalbandi. So I'm going to do another both scenes. Uh, I like doing both scenes, I've done plenty, but uh, every time I look at it, it's got a, a good combination. Uh, I like it, I, I just like the aesthetics. So, uh, so this one is uh, a scene, so uh, you usually have a little bit of uh, land in the far, and that's the beach and there's water so but the main highlight is the boat so let me just uh, do the boats and then there's a cityscape which we'll just add a little more details uh, that would be Uh, the boat itself so always so there's uh, a boat at an angle so sorry that's not coming out perfectly what I thought so I'm gonna just do a little more perspective So I'm just trying to draw a figure of eight just to get. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm going to just do a little lower. So right, so another book. about and that so always pay attention for the bolts which are very close because that's what your focus is gonna go and I'm gonna do another boat over there and maybe another one just over there and that's the beach there's a little bit of ground i'm gonna do a few more boats here i'm gonna just uh, directly do it as in wing it uh, i don't need to do this uh, but what i will do is add a couple of uh, men over here um, doing the thing Maybe slightly smaller man. By adding, making the men a little smaller, the boat looks. Huge. And also adding one more person. Okay. 
Okay, that's my scene. Let me check if the camera is capturing. It is. And then we go from there. So, a mop brush. I'm just picking up a little bit of yellow and red. Check the color. That's. I'm going to add a, add a little more yellow. Okay. to smaller brush I will come back and then Add the page, at the first stage. A little bit of cerulean blue. Cerulean blue. I'm picking up a little bit of gray on the paper. A little darker than what I thought. I'll add a little more cerulean. Yeah, that's fine. Keeping it fairly dry. So that's my boat scene, as on at least the first wash. So let me dry. So I'm going to continue with that. Um, I'm going to pick up lots of crimson, sorry, Algerian red. And then add on a little bit of gray. A little more of gray going down. A 
We'll add a little hint of ultramarine blue. And leave some white. Adding a little more dark as we go. Into the horizon. Okay. So, a little more dark. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do a few more boats, same color scheme. In this case, I'm adding a little bit of raw umber. So Maybe it's a good idea to just switch to a slightly smaller brush. Better control. So check the color, that's alright. That's a little more dark. So I'm slowly adding layers. So I'm just making also making sure the boats in the background are a little more lighter than the one in the foreground. It just gives a perspective. And continue so it's a busy port. Seven boats, we'll just add in a mast, not all of them, just a few. A little bit of shadow.
that's about it okay now let's move to the main board so always work on the board in the front that's your primary target so a little bit of yellow inside the board fairly bold blue and There's plenty of shadow. I'm going to come back and then add a little more shadow. But at this stage, we're going to leave it there. So, same thing with this board. Plenty of red. So uh, this is a bit too much damp. I'm just uh, soaking up with a little more. Okay. I'll let it uh, dry a little bit and then I continue with the other boat as well. dark and there's a couple of boats in the back I'm gonna do is do a little bit of cerulean same on the other side Okay, at this stage, you need a shadow. So for me, the shadow is this, this line. So for this particular boat, the shadow is gonna be that, that way. So I'm looking at about something like that. Making sure I'm happy with the shadow. So, some sort of connection. Beautiful. So, three more. So now the shadow inside the boat. Still a little wet. I might have to come back.
That's okay. So let's uh, work on these two guys. It's a little bit of uh, burnt ochre, Alzerian. Gives a little bit of skin tone. So. Gentleman is probably wearing uh, red. And, and it's too much water. So the same thing. So continuing with the boat. Slowly adding a few more details just to cover up the, the boat. Now we've got to do something about the, the boat needs to be anchored. It's a fairly dry brush. So it goes all the way. You know what? Probably should do uh, add a little bit of texture to this before I can add uh, a little bit of sand. So add. So I'm just adding a little more texture. With a little bit of dry brush. Okay, let me just dry a bit before I add some. Gonna add some final touches.
Okay. I think um, that should do. I'm going to just add a couple of highlights of white. Just because. I'm just squinting my eyes and then checking if there's anything else I need to add. I think I'm going to add a couple more darker Let me make sure the painting is in the frame. There you have it. Uh, another marina, a little bit of land uh, in the back, sea, and boat. This could fit really well with any of the landscapes. So you could put in, as long as that's a focal point, you could put in a lot of different things in the blurred, in the background, and a little bit of boat. Depending on the place, you change the boat, it looks a different feel. And then try to have a balance so it's just, warm colors it's all warm colors there's a little bit of cool colors so hope it works what probably i'm gonna add which is missing in this one is a few more but there's no but it's, uh, it doesn't feel like a place to go with if it doesn't have a few words so i'm going to just put in a few So. Okay. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Uh, help me out. Uh, all the descriptions and the materials. Check the comments below and then sorry description below. You have all my links to all the paints and pigments and papers I use. Till next time, keep watercoloring and bye.